Hi guys, it's Rachel and welcome back to my channel. Today I am bringing you guys a haul of everything I accumulated this month. Um, if you guys have been catching up with me on my Instagram, you will know that I have traveled to New York with the girls, just did some miscellaneous shopping, and also really gave into the hype and bought a lot of tracksuits. You guys want to see what I got from the thrift? PacSense, Revolve, Converse, and all this fun stuff. Please keep on watching. Let's go. So this video is brought to you by my friends at Box of Style. When Box of Style reached out to me, I like was 100% like, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. This is my moment because anyone who knows me knows that I love Rachel Zoe. Like I have her style book. I loved her show and I even met her 10 years ago when I was in Toronto. Cute, cringy teenager pic of me here. But she actually came out with a subscription box where she curates the box herself and you can get it per quarter for $99. $99. You actually can save a little bit of money off your first box. I'll have it linked right here. I don't even know what's in it, so I'm pretty excited to show it with you guys. So that is gonna be the first part of this haul. So thank you so much, Box of Style and Rachel, for helping a girl out. And I can't wait to see what's in the box. So we got the package here. So inside, let's open it. The first thing we got, ooh, this is cute. I think this is so cute. And like one thing I read about this whole box is that everything like retails for a value of over $400. So if you think about the amount you're paying per quarter, you can actually pay less money for the full year um, than the value of one box, if that makes any sense. The first thing is this tote and it's just a neutral brown color. It's very Rachel. Like, okay guys, I'm like a big Rachel Zoe fan girl, so I know this is very her. Inside here is the box. Let's open it up. Oh, cute. Okay, so there are four products in here, so I'm gonna take you through each one. The first one here is for your skin. It's a Hydrofel Skin Cups. It's a Hydrofel Skin Supplement from Erno Laszlo, New York. This is really cool. So, reveal your softest, most hydrated skin with this cult favorite, this toner. Okay, so it's a toner, guys. The next thing in here is actually something I knew was in the box and I was really excited about it. It's the R & Co Waterfall Moisture and Shine Lotion. I have processed hair, you guys know. I've been blonde before and I still dye my hair from time to time. I know R & Co is a really, really good brand, so I'm really excited to try this. This is from Diff Eyewear. Okay, I know Diff Eyewear. I see it on Instagram a lot. For every pair of diff shades sold, we donate one pair of glasses to a person in need. That's pretty awesome. So let's just see the sunglasses that are in here. This is like, I actually haven't opened any of this, so I have no idea what's in here. So this is like literally my first reaction. These look a lot like a designer pair of sunglasses that I really like. This is cool. What do you think, Dill? Man, you look so cute. I love these. I think this may be my favorite thing in the box because I see myself wearing these like very like Hailey Bieber style with a big oversized hoodie and a pair of joggers and a combat boot. I think that these will look really, really dope. And also I know Diff Eyewear is a good brand because I've seen them everywhere. So that's really cool. The last thing in here is from Bayou with Love. And I believe this is a bracelet. So let's open this up and see what it is. It's a little gold bracelet. You guys know I love layering my gold jewelry right now. So, and bracelets usually never fit me, but I think this one is going to. So that is what the bracelet looks like. This bracelet's $200, guys. I feel like I've like won a weird lottery or something. <laughs> one thing I like about this box, like compared to other boxes that I've tried in the past, I don't know, sometimes boxes just go like super one specific style, like girly or boho or like rock and roll, but I love that everything here is super neutral and I feel like a lot of the pieces in here can really be added on to whatever style that you may have. So I think that's pretty awesome as well. I'm gonna have my discount code here once again, and I wanna thank Box of Style for sponsoring this video. There's gonna be links in the description section below for all of these pieces as well, if you just wanna pick up one or check it out or anything like that. Okay guys, now moving on to the rest of the haul. Um, I'm gonna start with the sweatsuits. I've been posting a lot of them on my Instagram lately and you guys know sweatsuits are like almost like my actual corporate suit because that's what I work in when I work from home. And I just think that they're easy for travel after the gym, just hanging out with girlfriends, hanging out at home and not wanting to feel like, like sloppy or anything like that. I know you wanna all impress your Uber Eats delivery person, but the first one I have here, I got in New York and all the girls got this as well. It's the entire world sweatsuit. And I think that this is so fun. It's available at Nordstrom exclusively. Um, it was a really fun experience picking them all out. We all got them in New York and everyone got a different color, which is really fun as well. They're very transparent about like, their sustainability practices and their um, ethics and stuff like that. So definitely check them out. I think that this is a really fun piece that I have in my wardrobe now and 
This is what I'll be wearing on Valentine's Day, y'all. Second sweatsuit that I got is from Fear of God. Now guys, this was a little bit difficult to get. Uh, Fear of God is like one of those hype brands that I know Justin Bieber did his Purpose Tour merch with um, the guy who creates Fear of God and it just drops on PacSun and gets like wiped out immediately. I got a notification that the, the Fear of God Essentials line dropped on PacSun and I just like felt this urgency to get it. I wasn't planning on getting it that day, but like I fell in love with it and that's why I got it. So I ordered the top and the pants, both in a size small men's and then just the pants arrived. So there was nothing I could have done about it at that point, but how did I get the top, you may ask? We got it from Facebook. My brother searched and scoured like all like of those like hype beast, like limited edition and drop type of people. And one guy actually bought it in the wrong size and he just needed to sell it really quick because he wanted the money back. But it was pretty much the same price as what I would have gotten it with the duties and all that at full price. So we got, the top so even though this was kind of a mismatch and hard to get I'm glad that I now have it in my possession that's a key guys like search Facebook groups like I never even thought about that like my brother brought that up and I thought that was pretty neat so my brother Dylan and I have all been wearing the sweatsuit to be honest it cost a pretty penny and that's why the three of us are trying to get our money's worth out of it. I want to show you guys some things that I got from the thrift store. When we were in New York, we went to L Train Vintage and seriously guys, that's the best thrift store I've ever been to in my entire life. It was like, I always talk about how difficult it is to find certain things and you should never go in with like a plan. Like I want to find a black North Face jacket in a size small for under $10. Like that's not gonna happen where I live, but at L Train, things are possible. So yes, I found my North Face zip up and guys, these fleece sweaters are just so comfortable. They're so great after a workout and they remind me of the Patagonia ones as well. You guys know like there's so many different brands that have this type of style and I just really like it. I don't know, I've just been really into this whole like fuzzy, après ski, athleisure type of vibe and cause it's pretty much cold in Toronto till April, I know I'm gonna be wearing this a ton. The only other item I got at L Train was this pair of mud jeans and I actually distressed them myself. So. I found these and they're slightly a little big on me, but they still fit super, super well. They are originally by Mud and I don't even know what style or size or anything that they are, but that's the thing about thrift. You kind of just have to try things on because you're not guaranteed that like your regular size will fit you based on like, you know, a lot of different variables. I created the distress in the knees myself and then split the bottom and I think that they just look so, so dope guys. This is like one of my favorite pair of jeans and they look a lot like an expensive pair of jeans I want but these were also $10. And then the last thing I got at the thrift store was actually on my recent thrift trip where I'm DIYing two different tops. I also picked up this cardigan and I'm wearing it in that video. And it is this lime green cardigan and it just reminds me of stuff that like Princess Polly and Verge Girl and Revolve and all that, except this one was $3.99. And it's just super cute. It's so cute on as a top guys. Like try to go into the cardigan section at your thrift stores because I feel like that this stuff is just like, I don't know, this stuff is good. Okay, so Revolve actually gifted me a couple things and there are some other things that they gifted me but they're now currently sold on the website so I want to show you the ones that are available. The first one is this Song of Style top and again, like I said, the green. I got this in a size small and the way this cuts, like guys, this hits different. And then the next thing I got was from Super Down. Super Down is like the more affordable line from Revolve and it's just this plain little zip top and again, this is just something that you can wear with pair of boyfriend jeans and it looks super cute. It was recently on my Instagram with a pair of black combat boots and like, I just thought that was adorable. Okay, and then I stumbled onto Uniqlo sometime this month and my friend has a sweater, which is why I got it guys. It's so good. Um, it is just this fuzzy, fuzzy, fuzzy. It's just this fuzzy sweater. Um, it's fuzzy on the inside as well. I got this in a size small and what's great is that you can match with your boo because there is a men's size as well in this and it's just the comfiest thing ever. Yeah, I love this and you guys should get this before it sells out and also it washes like a dream. These are the 90s denim and I got these in a size 25 and they fit perfectly. I picked these up at Aritzia. They were 30% off so I believe they're around 188 instead of like 288 or something so they were still expensive but a decent deal, <laughs> but I love these. You guys know I love this fit. I have it in white and wear it all the time. So I knew I would get my wear out of it in the blue color. And guys, I love a Goldie denim. You guys know it's like one of my favorite, um, it's one of my favorite lines to wear right now in terms of denim. So I also got this beanie. 
and I love this as well. I got this from Zara and it's super, super cute on. Um, I really wanted one with like an exaggerated fold over part, kind of like the acne one, but I didn't want to pay like $300 for a hat. So that's why I got this. It's available at Zara, super, super affordable and it's partly wool. So it's going to keep you super warm. Okay, so guys, I know these shoes look exactly the same, but I got these before I knew I was getting these. So let's start off with these. The first pair is these Chuck 70s. I just love these. Like it's just a classic high top Chuck. I've had these before in like the classic fit and I just think that they're really, really nice. I like that they're not super, super white. So that way they kind of have that like distressed look. I just like when they look a little bit worn in and I love the vintage vibe and they pretty much would go with anything here. And then I was just oh so lucky to be sent these by Converse and I'm going to incorporate them into my spring essentials video that is coming up. But they are the Ren Star Hikes and my mom has another platform Converse and I find them really really great for transitional dressing mainly because there's still sometimes there's water on the ground or slush on the ground but at the same time like it's still a little too warm to wear a boot and I feel like that's where these come in. You can wear these all season long and they just look so nice especially because they're platform. They make your legs look super long which is awesome as well. These are a little bit difficult to get right now, but if I can find them, I'm going to link them in the description box below as well as the name. But yeah, they're so, so great. And I wear a six and a half women's or a size like four ish um, men's in Converse for anyone who's wondering. I have a very narrow foot, so Converse shoes just always agree with me. Okay, guys, that is the end of this haul. Let me know which piece was your favorite. And if you guys want to see any of these styled on Instagram, definitely head on over there because I would love to have you. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Okay, bye guys.